If you create any kind of tutorials, walkthroughs, or you want to create videos for your clients showing how you've done something or walk through something for them, then you're probably going to want to create videos where you can share your screen and also have a little picture of you in the video. Now, there are a lot of different softwares out there, but they often cost money. So if you want to do something like this for free, you can actually use Canva. So in this tutorial, I'm gonna walk through and show you how you can screen record showing your face using Canva. All right, so let's have a look at how we can create presentations using Canva. So you have two different options. You can record something externally like a program or a tab on your browser, or you can record a presentation you've created in Canva. So let's start off with a presentation and see how we use that. All right, so what we're gonna do is go over here where it says record yourself. Now you're gonna bring up this screen and we're going to go into settings. And this is where you choose the camera you want. So you can choose um, any camera that you've got plugged in. I'm gonna use the camera on the computer right now because I'm using a plugged in one to actually make this video. Then you can have the choice of if you just wanna record just camera, if you wanna do camera and screen, or just screen without your face. You're also going to want to choose your microphone. So we're going to come into here to camera and screen because we want to show both our camera and the screen. And we're gonna choose the screen. So because we're doing a presentation here, we're gonna choose entire screen and share. So now we can press record. It's gonna give you a nice little countdown. And now you can start recording. So you can go through your slides and do your talking that goes with the slides. So you can just click on a slide, talk about that slide, move on to the next slide, talk about that slide. And then once you are happy with what it has recorded and you've got everything you need, that's when you can then press done. Once we've finished that, we can press save and exit. Now you're going to have to wait a minute while it uploads that video, but what it's actually going to do is add each of the videos to each slide. So each time you were on a slide and were talking, it's going to make the video of when you were talking over that slide. So you can see it will place it on that slide. So now you can move that to wherever you would like. You can even change the frame if you want to, if you don't want a circle. Um, you can the, go get another frame and change it, but obviously you're going to have to do that for every slide, so that could be a bit time consuming, but that's completely up to you what you want to do with it. And you can also resize it, so you can really customize it to look how you want. You don't have to feel like you're set with whatever they originally give you. So it could change for different slides too. Maybe that one's in the way over there and you want it over here. You may want to change the position on different slides if necessary, or you may even want to on your slides create an area where it always will go. So once it has downloaded your videos and now you've got all your slides set up that's got the talking head, this is where you can download it as you prefer. So you can, if you want a complete video where it's got your slides plus talking head, that's where you'd want to download it as an MP4 video. However, if you want to send it to somebody in a different format, maybe you want to send a PowerPoint presentation to them so they can go through it in PowerPoint and they can just see your little talking head going through it, you can send that as a PowerPoint. So that's really up to you. It's probably most commonly you're going to choose MP4 video, however. All right, now let's say that we want to record something else rather than a presentation in Canva. So going back over this again, some other things you can look at too is you've also got this little pop-up where you can add notes. So that could be handy if you want to add some notes to help yourself, especially if you're doing that Canva presentation, you may want to do that. Now also with your little camera here, if you go over to just camera mode initially, you do also have some extra things you can do here. So you can add filters. So if you wanted to add a filter to yourself for whatever reason, or do some sort of other effect like skin smoothing, you do have those options. You can also change the shape. So if you want a square rather than a circle, or if you want to mirror the camera, all those sort of things you can do if you would like. I wouldn't be too fussed with those sort of settings though, because you can do things post-production as well, because it's going to give you the video file. All right, so let's put that aside we're going to go back up here to settings now we're going to choose the camera and screen now I've been having trouble with this chrome tab one I've given it the settings to say yes it can share but every time I record it gets white so you can try that and use it that way but if it's not working if you're having trouble like me because sometimes Canva does glitchy things maybe it's just glitching out on me today you can also do entire screen and then we can just crop the video so it's perfectly fine just to do entire screen we can press share now it's going to do that crazy thing because it's sharing upon sharing itself don't freak out now we're going to press record and then we're going to go to wherever we want to go on our computer to go and do our tutorial so during that time you won't see the video of yourself 
but you can just get on with it and just record your tutorial. You can always look up at your camera if you want to be looking at the camera at any point. So let's say we're doing a tutorial on how to search on this website. So I'd click on the search bar and we're going to put in Instagram press enter and it's going to bring up our search results and this is how you can easily find things. All right, so that's our tutorial. Now we're going to go back over to Canva and press done. Now if you notice down the bottom there was also a pause button so if you do need to just pause for a minute and then come back you can press pause and resume. So you do have that option if you need it. Now once it is done we're going to click save and exit. Now it's going to upload our files. So we're just going to pause that. So it's going to upload two different files, the video file of you, and this is where you can make it whatever shape you want. As you can see, you can crop it or you can put it in a frame. So you can make that look however you want. And as I said before, you can do post-production where you can come into edit, you can add different effects to it, whatever you want to do. There's even a new enhanced voice thing. So there's heaps of stuff you can do to improve that video if you wanted to. And then we have our screen recording video here. So as I said, you can crop it so we could just Grab the edges and crop down. So we might want to just zoom along to where it is. Crop it down to the right size. Then we can go in here and that's where we can get rid of the parts of the video that we didn't want. Then we can press done. Now, as you can see, it had my little video there from actually recording this video. Obviously, you won't have that. So now you can resize it to how big you want it on your page. You can place your little talking head wherever you want. So there's lots of customization there and that you can make it how you want it to look. Now, as you saw on the page too, if we just go back to be full resolution, it makes it this size on the page. Now, if you find that too blurry and it frustrates you, you can just maybe upsize it a little bit rather than full page and always add a background. So maybe we could add a little background in here. Maybe. Maybe we can put a border around us so we can really design it and make it look really custom and interesting and make it, you know, on brand for you. So we can put it over here like that. And there we have it. So we've got our talking head and we've got our actual video. Now you may want to come in here and make any edits to that. If you need to trim anything, if there's a bit at the start or end that wasn't quite right, as you can see, you can make lots of customizations. And then once you're happy, you can share and download that as a MP4 video. As you can see, you've got plenty of options in terms of you could do a tutorial where you record your screen, or you can do a Canva presentation, like a webinar or a masterclass or something like that, and actually go through and add a talking head to it. So I hope you found this helpful seeing how you can screen record with your face in Canva. If you have any questions, leave a comment below. And if you'd like to see any more Canva tutorials, make sure you subscribe to this channel and I'll see you next time.